What is up you guys, this is Gilly from Pandem Gameplay, and I'm just going to do you a quick tutorial on the Vegas Pro 10 editing software. This is going to be for more advanced users because I already made some tutorials on the beginning layout of the software. So, for example, if you want to make a nice uh, clip look a little bit better than what it already is, I'm just going to go over a quick tutorial for that. So we'll import our media, our clip into our import media button right here. Uh, we'll add a nice video track we'll click right click that click insert video track right click insert audio track left click our video drag it to the editing toolbar um, we'll go ahead and uh, click on our video properties project video properties um, so right now I usually go by the HD 1080 by 60i I believe I'm not sure well I do change my frame rate to 59.9 frames per second that is the uh, frames per second for any Call of Duty game so we'll go ahead and click apply okay so now that we uh, split those uh, excess black border boxes off there we'll go ahead and uh, preview our clip real quick skip to the part where we hit whatever we hit I think this is actually an older clip that someone sent me for the community montage that we were doing uh, but I'll go ahead and just edit this one real quick because it's really the only clip I have right now. <laughs> I've actually used a lot of my clips for my montages, but we'll split this off. Make the clip as quick as possible for any montage worthiness. So we'll zoom in on this. Uh, you can use like a, if you have a scroll wheel mouse or something, you can just zoom in with the scroll wheel. That's usually what I do anyway. So we'll play this. Okay, so. Obviously, when you hit the shot, you want to make the uh, the image event pan crop key happen after you hit the shot. So right after you hit the shot, wherever you want the image to be, we can click split. Click S on the keyboard for split. Right click your video that you don't want to use. Click delete and click on previous frame to see the last previous frame that you want. And what you want to do is you want to click on save snapshot to file. Uh, that saves your images. I actually have a lot of images on here from all the images that I've used in my old montages. Uh, we'll click save. It will save it to your media keyboard here. We'll left click that, drag it over here. And so right now you have a nice clip with your image on it. So once you hit the shot, it's just basically a still image. That's it, basically. So we'll go ahead and split this off because you don't want the clip to be too long. Uh, we'll add a nice fade to it so we'll see how this looks boom hits it we might actually need to split the clip a little bit more because this clip is kind of really drug out um, right click delete add a nice fade um, so we hit the shot and there goes the clip so if you want to edit that we'll right click the clip click a video event pan crop and this is how you crop your videos to do whatever you want with them uh, we'll go ahead and add a nice border effect. You see position right here, position. You click create keyframe, insert. You left click the ticker. You drag it all the way out. And uh, right now we'll just do a size about center lock aspect ratio. And when you click those two, it'll just create a basic zoom in effect. So you can just zoom in. So we'll left click the bottom part and zoom in almost all the way. But that'll give you a nice little effect there so when we click the video it zooms in right there so that's basically how you just zoom in um, when you're creating a keyframe crop event on uh, Sony Vegas Pro 10 so that's about it guys peace